as Election Day looms like a sack of spoiled food tied to a hobo's stick, <laughs> the Dems are pulling out all the stops and starlets as well, as Miley Cyrus and Katy Perry, don't know them, visit campus dorms to rouse millennials to vote for Hillary. Ugh. Are you voting this year? Yes. Who are you voting for? Chris. Yeah! 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 Well, you know what the good thing about it is that I can actually use my voice. It's great because you can use all our attention for good, like we're doing here today. We can change the world. So I'm going to go the door right now yes. in support of Hillary so and Tim. Yes. And are you registered to vote? I am. All I want is a president yeah. to a rare happy hippie shirt. Yes. That's all I want. Okay. Yes. Dorm to dorm, yeah. dressed like the Statue of Liberty in Virginia. Come on, you have to wear a happy shirt. Oh, shoot me. Behold the liberal nexus, celebs and dorm dwellers who both share the same political beliefs, a naive view of pacifism, animal rights, and shouty platitudes written in erasable ink on their faces. Makes sense. When you're young or famous, you never have to connect any dots between belief and behavior, between truth and consequences. You're either really, really rich or mom and dad are footing the bill. For celebrities, it's far worse. The arrested development that comes with early fame creates a loathing insecurity about their own intellectual depth. Liberalism is the soothing ointment. Mm -hmm. For a student, it's just easier to fit in, mouthing all that crud. But before we mock them, consider the Republican counterparts. The, do the dorms, they get Miley and Katie. Conservatives get Chuck Norris and Ted Nugent. See, we have stars, too. They're just older. I guess it takes celebrities decades to see the error of their ways. But what's really ironic is how these outspoken pop singers fail to see the stereotype they gladly fill. Their assimilation into cultish obedience to leftism is so swift. How rebellious is that? And what of our greatest rebel? Last week, Madonna promised to have sex with you if you vote for Hillary, which could be why Hillary's lead just shrunk. Nice. Among other true? things, 